everybody. Tracing paper and our junk journals. Four different ways that you can use tracing paper in your junk journals. Okay, let's do this. This is Pam at the Paper Outpost. Welcome. And um, if anybody's new, welcome. Also, um, I ha don't forget, September special, free gift with purchase if you purchase a fundle, which is a collection of old and interesting papers. You will automatically receive a printed out for you five page digi kit on lightweight cardstock. Um, and uh, this will automatically be included with your fundal purchase. And the fundal comes with 100 plus items of old and interesting papers. There we go. Okay. So, um, yes, tracing paper. Haven't played with tracing paper for a while. Tracing paper is on my list of page ideas, um, which you can find if you sign up for my email newsletter. Um, uh, uh, page list, uh, page ideas list. And what I'm doing is I'm making videos showing you four different ways to use one concept so that you never run out of ideas how to decorate a junk journal. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do, let's just find a pretty page to use in a junk journal. Let's see. Oh, that's kind of a cool page, isn't it? We, you can use any page, doesn't matter. A white page, a contrasting page, that would be pretty too. Um, oh, I just like, I'm, I've got a million ideas. Pam, focus, just pick, pick four. You only need four. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's let's uh, just just do a simple one first of all. We're gonna do a flip, and this is really fun if you have something that you want to put that's pretty under the flip. Now, ideas of what you could let's let's do the flip first and, and just make that so it is so it's pretty easy. Uh, so actually, bring this back here. Let's decide how big of a flip we want, and I want this to work like. Um, I'm lifting up a curtain, that style, okay? Now you could do the flip to the side, you could pull it down, you could put it this way. They will all work. Um, and this is just regular uh, tracing paper. Um, you can also dye, dye, like coffee dye, put splatters of coffee dye on your tracing paper and that looks really cool. So if you wanna amp it up a bit. And uh, so I'm just gonna, now the nice thing about tracing paper, it's very thin. It's very thin and it's gonna fit easily into any junk journal, not adding massive bulk. Okay, so I have my, my little lines of measurement. That's as far as Pam goes. And uh, let's go ahead and just align it with the top of my craft mat and put that dot on a line. And we're just gonna follow that line down. Let's hope this aligns with, a line. is that straight? No. Okay, let's get that straight that way. Okay, there we go. And we're, we're gathering our ruler, putting it down. Now you could tear Let's try to, okay, I haven't, I don't know. Let's just try tearing it, see what happens. I'm going to try tearing it because, because it's easier and it gives a nice cool edge. Oh, that was really easy. And that gives like a nice little ruffly edge, uh, which is fun. And let's just take this. This is such a, is this just a little simple idea? I mean, this, it's a nothing to it, but it, it just adds this character or um, interactive part to a journal, which can be a lot of fun in a journal. If you like to make explore type journals or hidden pockets and hidden secrets in your journal kind of thing. Uh, now there's a couple things that you can do here, but we're just gonna, um, I'm gonna do these surprises underneath. You could do surprise, uh, not, it's not a surprise if it's on top, but you could decorate the top of this, but I'm going to make it so that this is meant to be lift up, lifted up and looked under. Okay, so I am going to take a rubber stamp of any sort and I'm going to put a couple different colors on it. I want them to be intense enough so they show through. So maybe I'm going to use Kitsch Flamingo because it's new and it's all juicy and has lots of color on it. I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, just putting it on there. Sonny's right behind me trying to get his nose in the show. Hello, Sonny. <laughs> all right. Um, and maybe some black, maybe a little black around the tips, and maybe uh, maybe some blue. I don't know. I just I'll try it. I'm probably mucking these up. Oh well. Um, th what blue was that? Sorry, that was tumbled glass, and this is black soot. That's pretty much the traditional black I use. Okay, now no fussing. Just just get her down. Okay. Okay, hoping, hoping it's going good, hoping. I'm gonna sneak my fingers in here and squish the middle of it because sometimes that one, it doesn't get in the middle. Okay, let's hope. Hey, kind of cool, right? Yeah, okay, so we're good there. And then I had this other stamp, it says Enchanted, Enchanted on it, and I thought that was pretty. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna use that. 
And this is just something fun to find under here. They can even write over this, you know, so it's not taking away any journaling space if somebody's a heavy journaler. So there you go. Let's hope that worked. Oh, yeah, that definitely worked. Okay. No, no, no let me come. You come to me because it shows better down here. Pretty, huh? Yeah, I mean, already pretty. Um, so now, where's our little paper? Where are you? Here you are. Now, since you're such a little delicate little flower of a paper, I probably want to reinforce you a little bit, but maybe I'm going to ink you up a bit just to give it that little pizzazz and that somebody can see it. This is my dauber box. I know, so organized. And uh, that's my, my brown dauber. That's not a spider. That's a um, embroidery floss. Somebody thought it was a spider once. I thought that was uh, a hoot. Um, if, that, if that was a spider, you would have just seen... Pachoom! Like about like the Roadrunner, Pachoom! gone. Yeah, <laughs> that would be gone. <laughs> it's not a spider. Okay, this is vintage photo. Just because it's the brown I grabbed closely. I don't know where my walnut stain is. I used to have that out all the time. Now, apparently I'm doing a vintage photo. Okay, so I'm just going to go around and ink it up a little bit on the edge, just so we have a little poppage against the background. This is just a super simple idea. Anybody can do this, beginner to advanced, and you could alter how you do this in 100,756,000 ways, and I'm sure I'm forgetting a few too. So there you go. Never running out of ideas with paper. We always have something to play with, something fun. Okay. Oh, look, I got a smudge. Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll work that into a design later. Oh, isn't that cool? I mean, here, let me bring you down so you can really see. It's just really cool. It's just, I don't know, it's really cool already. Okay, and we haven't even done anything. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it at the top, taking my Fabric Fix glue, which is a clear silicone glue, fabric to fabric, fabric to paper, paper to paper, and I transferred mine into a Sugar Bells icing piping bottle just so I can get a skinny stream of glue. And I say that over and over just in case people are new so they, they don't know. They're like, what glue are you using? I, I get that asked a lot, so I'm just trying to... Okay. Okay, well, she's going to have to wait. All right. Okay, so we have that now. I have this really pretty little sticker. It's kind of a, like, floating sticker. I don't know if I need it to float, but, that, but I think that would be really pretty right there. Maybe I'm going to ink it up a little bit, give it a little definition. But they're going to see that there's something there. And you could put anything from just a, 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 a dot with a marker, or you could put a, um, um, a sticker or a, a bling or anything that you would like. Oh, I just think that looks pretty. Okay. Um, probably going to add a little glue to this because sometimes, you know, sometimes the glue does not adhere the way we want it to. Below there. Maybe I'll even run a little around there. And that's going to also help weight... The uh, weight the tracing paper down so that if somebody is opening this up in an intense wind, that it's not going to blow away. Okay, so then they just come and they do this. But I'm going to decorate that a little bit more because I want some um, substance there. Hold on. Okay, I have a million and one things that you could use here uh, to build a little bit of. Uh, a bridge up top and this is just for decor really um, I could put a piece of twine I think that would look really nice um, I also have this cutout that um, it's a piece of washi tape on a book page and I had punched out some leaves what are you doing you're nibbling okay I'm gonna no don't try and show because it'll fall apart okay no he's back down okay I could put a band of that ac across there and uh, um, we can just uh, go ahead and glue that down. That would give it a little bit more. I could actually anchor it to the page, so it has a little bit of strength there. It's not gonna tear off easily. It's not gonna tear off easily anyway. We could put a piece of lace. That would look really pretty. And we could put a little center focal point, or we could, I have this like broken thread from olden days, but I love to use it um, just with a, a line of Fabrifix and, and uh, just maybe take some old string, twist it up, and you just you just you just glue it down, and it looks really cool. I think for me personally, in this particular circumstance, I like the twine, the simplicity of the twine. Do you want to get down, bum bum? Okay, all right. You, you want? You, okay, let's just. Okay. Uh, I would like to say, um, uh, I had a face wash, and 
I want to get down now. Okay, it, it, it could be, you know, that kind of an emergency. So we'll talk later. See ya, bye. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go, Bumpkin. You're off and running. Okay, um, if you don't know who that, that was my sunshine, my little uh, Maltese dog, um, my baby boy, my little honey bumpkins. Okay, all I'm going to do, nothing fancy, but I think it's look really cute. I'm just going to take a, a line. Okay. And put that down. And, okay. Okay. There we go. Very pretty, right? Now, if you want to glam it up a little bit more, no, and I'm not talking bling. No, I'm not talking bling. But let's say you want to accentuate your page a little bit more to, to have it show more. You can go around and ink the edge of a page to make the whole page come alive a little bit more. And you don't have to do this to every page. You can do it to some pages. And I like to take this on the corner. This is a little Tim Holtz Distress ink. These are like little foam pads you buy for this little device. But you can also use a wooden spool. I got this idea from Jessica Rapp. A wooden spool and just glue uh, one of these sponges or a makeup sponge or a piece of felt or cotton or a piece of material, anything. And uh, Kleenex will work for gosh sakes. Okay, I'm just doing this. This is what I'm doing. And uh, so now when somebody comes to this page, they're going to lift it up and go, oh, isn't that pretty? And technically they could write across all of this or write themselves little notes, but just kind of a fun find. You know, fun. I'm all about the fun find. Let's have a fun find. Maybe we're going to put this here too. Maybe snuggle it up against that. I like that. Yeah, that's nice contrast. Let's use that. Sometimes these little things that are just hanging around on your desk are all you need in life. You know, all you need. Um, try and use them up as you go because you'll be surprised how they will work into your design very nicely, very easily. And then you are off and running. Yeah, there we go. We have that. Okay, now um, let's do another idea. Okay, the next idea is we're going to make a little pocket out of um, some tracing paper. And I think that can look cute because you will partially see what is in the pocket. Now this piece of tracing paper has a natural fold in it already. So what I'm going to do is, is work with the natural fold. And I'm just going to uh, see if I can tear it again. Let's see. Looks like it. Yeah, there we go. All right, fold that up. And geez, I, I probably have enough for two or three pockets here. Maybe we'll do a tri pocket. Oh, that'd be fun. Let's do that. Let's do it. Okay. So let's uh, take this and we'll try fold it. That's not try to fold it. We're going to try fold it. Meaning we're going to have three. I got to figure out where three is going to be. Am I going to have enough for three? I want them to be the same size. Okay. That's pretty darn close. And to get them the pretty darn exact close so that they're all the same size, I just got to get that little there. Okay. I'm just going to trim the edges where it is, um, it's still attached. That way they'll all be the same size. So we need a trim and a trim. Okay. So we're going to put you down, fold you nice and crispy like, okay. Then we're going to come along. Oh boy. And we're going to attempt to trim you. Here we go. Oh, we did well. That was my craft knife and a reasonably sharp blade. Starting to get a little duller. I can feel it. You know, you can feel these things working with paper after a while. You just get the feel of, oh, yeah, it's getting a little dull. You know what I mean? Like that. And your voice goes up like a couple octaves when you say things like that. Just, it happens. I don't know why. Um, there. Now we have three little thingies. And um, now you can design your pockets two different, a million different ways. But basically, you can glue the, oh, sorry, you can glue, glue, close, and then you have a little interior pocket, okay, like that in there, and then you would just mount this, okay, or you can use this as your entire pocket and um, just glue, glue, glue in a U shape and glue it down, and I think what I'm going to do is that, and the reason being is Tracing paper is thin, and if somebody's pulling things in and out of there, I want it, there to be some strength. So I'm going to also take the open flap on top, and I'm just going to fold it back upon itself a couple times to give myself a nice little um, lip, and that will give this pocket extra strength. Okay, maybe twice. Should we do it twice? Yeah, let's do it twice, see what happens. 
Okay. And maybe I'll come in here with, um, why don't we do different colored inks this time? Okay, I'm going to try. Let me get my water bottle because my inks are get my pads get dry because I walk away and leave them open all the time and bad crafter but um you can re you can reawaken them re you can reawaken them yes okay so let us just ink this maybe we'll do this green yeah green is a nice nature color I'm gonna do that whole top green yeah so when that comes down then I'm just going to put a little thin bead of glue here Doop. don't need much you could use any glue here it doesn't matter um I just have that one at the ready you can glue the sides together but since I'm going to glue this whole thing down there's nothing really that's going to escape out of the side so I'm okay with that yeah just leave that as is okay I just ink around the green one so this is I'm going to be bringing in different colors into the foray here so let's just do a couple of these Hope you're having fun today and you're finding time for your craftiness no matter what you're doing whether you're playing with your your papers or you're knitting or crafting or or sewing or whatever it is i hope you're having a good time um, and uh, this is quality time well spent when you're crafting i think i think and i hear from a lot of you that it helps your mind relax and unwind and um and feel good and and what's wrong with that for gosh sakes okay fold that one down Okay, and they don't have to be perfect. They just have to be done. Okay, here we go. Another little glue bead. Okay. And folding. And the nice thing about tracing paper, it has this. Yeah, did you catch that? It has the crinkle factor. So if you're a paper lover, often we as paper lovers enjoy the good crinkle factor that sometimes certain papers can, can give us. I'm going to use worn lipstick this time just to be different. And uh, um, yes, so there's a lot of the crinkle factor that you can really have fun with. Okay, that's nice. Okay, I, I don't, I, I have an idea, I have two ideas on how I'm going to arrange these. But let's just see, let's just, let's just have some fun today. We can have fun. Okay. And here's my third third and final pocket same process pretty simple just fold over the top because the paper is really thin and then that will give the little top of your pocket extra strength there we go little bead of glue will do ya there we go yeah it is a nice day here we're still having our torrential florida summer rains but it's all good oh i'm, I'm going to a um this might be fun um um, uh, our little local museum has these, um, little like interesting talks they give from people, like interesting people that come and do talks. So I'm going to one of these talks tonight. I'm very excited about that because I love, I love learning and I love learning about new things. And, and, um, I don't know, I think this is a woman who, some type of uh, biologist, tumble glass here, tumble glass. Um, and she spent a lot of time in Alaska, and I would love to go to Alaska. And uh, so she's going to tell us all about what that was like. And I'm like, oh, okay, you just, you tell me, ma'am, what, what life is like in Alaska and what it was like to study there as an environmentalist and that kind of stuff. So anyway, I just think that sounds like fun. Okay, so let's get a page. Let's get a page. All right, here we go. See that? See, I need to, I need to cover that because that's me walking away. All right, so I'm going to go into signature number two. I have four signatures in this book. I'm just going to pick a random undone page. I can't believe how much we've done already in this, this journal. It's amazing. Oh, maybe that would be cool. I don't know. Let me see. That could be really cool. Um, maybe I could make, I was thinking about doing like a little tower. And the towers can be attached or not attached. They can, you could also do angles. Angles would be fun too. I don't think I've ever done angles before. Um, but I, like, I do like the tap, but I don't know the angles. That's kind of, kind of, I kind of like that. Let me do some angles. We're going to do angles today. We're going where we've never been. Okay. Um, let's see how this works. Okay. This is some old, uh, is it, is it old? Yeah, I think it is from a, the inside of an old book page, uh, or an old book, you know, the um, marbling page. They're so pretty, those marbling pages. I think that is. It definitely came from a book. I can tell you that. I don't know the age of the book, but it's probably old. I try to get old books. Oh, I, I just bought um, a bunch of beautiful old German Gothic books. And um, 
I'm looking forward to getting those into fundals very soon. So I've been dabbling. I have like a little bit now, but I really want to make that a new section or category in fundals because I, I was, I've noticed that folks like went crazy over the Gothic print and I do too. So I get that. And I thought, hmm, maybe I should have add more of that to the fundal. So they have some more to play with because there's, I don't know, it's just something so, I don't know, um, like old medieval Sherlock Holmes sort of coolness to it. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's really cool. That Gothic font is beautiful. Okay. All right. Uh, you know, I'm thinking, hey, I, I'm just thought of thinking here that you not only do we have this, where's my pocket shower? Not only, not only do we have these, okay, you got to glue down, You're making me look bad. These behind, we also, because I just, I chose not to glue, we also have that. So we could double load, we could double load. Okay, hang on, I got to get stuff. All right, I'm back. I got uh, these pretty stamps. Somebody sent me something. It looks like from Canada. Um, oh, no, it might be the UK. Excuse me. Excuse me. Dorset. Yes. I know who you are. <laughs> and uh, let me use these stamps as something small to maybe the, uh, the thing to tuck into one of the arms. That would be cool. Okay. I'm cutting. I'm cutting with scissors. Rarely happens, but I do it. I do it all the time. What am I talking about? Um, let's see. Will you fit? I think you will fit. Let's see. I can make you thinner. Oh, you're happy though. Oh, that's kind of cool. That's fun, right? Okay, so I'm going to do that. Leave that. And I think in the backgrounds, I have these really cool little botanical pictures I got somewhere. Um, they're, they're obviously old pictures, but somebody put them on these little cards, and I think that was from AliExpress. I think they're kind of cool. Um, so let's put maybe, oh, there's a, uh, maybe, okay, a couple in each. That might be fun. There, a butterfly, very nice. Okay, and a plant. And what else we got? Another butterfly? We got anything different? Anything? I'll take anything. Butterflies, oh, oh, birds, nice, very nice, birds on the back, so there's different pictures on the back, that's kind of cool, um, yeah, okay, so as far as I understand it, the AliExpress thing, it's basically you're buying directly from China, you're skipping the middleman, so you get things at a very discounted rate, but you wait forever for it to get here, so that's kind of the deal, as I understand it, now things may have changed with supply chain issues and things like that recently, I don't know, but I haven't ordered in a long time, but Here's just a pile of stuff. Yeah, like sometimes you'll for totally forget about stuff you ordered, and then all of a sudden it will come through in the mail, and you're like, and you're, oh, yeah, I remember I ordered that. Okay, let's, this is pretty. Just little printed um, faux stamps. We could put those in there. That would be really cute. I can honestly say I've never made this before. This is brand new. Okay, put that in there. Discovered a pocket I didn't know I had. Okay, there's like a little label sticker. That would be cute in there. I'm going to put you in from this way. You will be pulled out that way. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think that's enough because it's got a busy background. Busy things are inside. No, I need one more thing. I can tell. Hold on. I'm going to just put some number stamps on there just to give them a little focal point. I didn't want to do anything too distracting because there's already so much intensity going on in the design. Um, so let's just see what this looks like. Well, let's try. Maybe we'll just put one on. Let's see. There's seven. There, so. No, I can do the others. It's okay. I'm feeling good about it. Yeah, I'm going in. I'm going deep. Here we go. You know, the creating continues. 27, and that's a 2. So that kind of just magically worked out that way. 2, a 7, and a 27. All right, there we go. Okay, and we are rocking and rolling. So there you have number 2 idea, and let's move on to number 3. Okay, here is idea number 3. I want to make a little simple shaker thing, and... I think this is the best way, not the best way, it's one way. There are so many ways to make things that uh, it's, it's exciting. Yeah. Okay, so I think I'm going to use maybe a book page. Let me get a book page that is a little bit stiffer than normal. And I've got this pretty paper that somebody sent me. Thank you very much. Yes, I know who you are. 
and uh, um, I am going to use it to make a little shaker page. Okay, let's just put you over here for a second. All right, now, how big do we want you to be? Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use this text. Okay, so let's just cut the text out with this and then we'll figure it out from there. How about that? Um, you know, it's funny how I, I have these ideas of like what I'm going to do and then I just change it, like what I'm going to show you. It's like, oh no, this sounds like more fun. Or, well, I've never done this before. Let's do that together. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Forget the other idea completely. Um, yeah. And here we go. Here we go. Oops. Nope. Migration is happening. Okay. I need to turn this whole thing around. All right. Turning. I'm just going to actually just cut it down here because it's just going to follow the line of that. Okay, so I just wanted a text block. That's all I want. I don't ask for much in life, you know? And this can be from a modern book, from an old book. It doesn't matter. It's all okay. I'm going to try and pick it up with these funky nails. Okay, here we go. Just take all the white off. And you really didn't have to take all the white off because some of it's going to be covered by the green. Yeah. Okay, so now let's figure out exactly how much green. Let's turn it over. Yeah, this is much better. Okay. And let's just cut that out. All right. And that will be, I could have cut them at the same time. That would have been more efficient. See, I was trying to learn efficient moves. And often seeing after the fact what would have been more efficient, but then we put it in the old data bank of life in the in the in the noodle, and then maybe we can remember to do that next time, right? Right. Okay. If if the neurons are firing, we will remember next time. Okay. Last cut coming at you, and, and this is just a simple little playful fun thing. It's like a baby rattle for adults. Are we, not, are we not, I, I'm right on this, aren't I? Yeah, a shaker thing? It's a baby rattle for adults. We know, we know. <laughs> okay, so now I'm just gonna cut a square out and this is like the easiest way I know how to do it. And so this is so you can see the fun little things on the inside. If you fold it in half, you probably don't need to do the super crease that I just did, that was probably silly, but uh, Oh, I could have probably folded that over and done two at the same time. Oh, no, just, 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 it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's fine. Okay, here we go. And then this way, join your two ends. Can you see them? No, not at all. Um, let me take you closer. Okay, all right. Uh, let's see. I think it's about there. And it doesn't even matter if you overcut just a smidge because um, you're going to glue it down. So it's all right. It's okay. Yeah. Okay. So that's out. I have a frame. That was easy enough, right? That wasn't too hard. Didn't need a fancy punch. Nothing. None of that fancy stuff. No. Okay. Here. That there. But wait. But wait. We're going to bring in the you-know-who and the you-know-what. Probably should have cut that all at the same time. That would have been smart. Hey, this might fit. Well, that would be, I, no, I have to do a, a tiny trim, but I can do a tiny trim. So here's the deal. I want to leave this an open pocket inside because I want to fill it. So turn it over and just cut it so it fits. This would have been much more efficient to out cut all of these at the same time. For, for those of you who are more efficient than I, that would have been the most, more efficient approach. But if you're like learning as you go, and sometimes we are, and that's okay. And I'm trying to teach myself more how to slow craft as opposed to rush, 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 because there's a lot of joy in the slow craft. There really is. Yeah. And okay. I tore it, but it's going to be okay. Let's put that at the top. Um, and I'm just going to, no, I'm going to glue a U because I have to seal the top. It's kind of weird there now. Okay. And I'm going to seal Then we're going to load and then we're going to seal. And we're going to have a shaker, a shaker thing. Okay, here we go. We're making the shaker thing. That's easy concept, right? And you could, you could do that in a million different ways. Okay. And we can even be bold and go ahead and, and put this on now. 
make sure that our trees are in the right direction. Yeah, everything's looking good. Don't glue the top yet. Don't glue the top yet. No, you could actually glue the top. But let me turn it upside down. I don't, I don't like that part right there. Let me just... Oh, no, I can't because I sealed that. Turn it back. Okay, you're, you're going this way, sister. That's, that's what's going down. You can glue this onto that, but don't get that little edge there. Oh, great. Thanks. You know what? Just don't glue that part yet. Let's just do a U. Let's just, can we please keep life simple? Yes. Thank you. Okay. We're, we are doing this now. Okay. Try to get your edges so you don't have those little peely uppies. Okay. And you can finger smoosh if you want, but this is not going to bleed through. So no emergency to finger smoosh. Okay. Here we go. All right. Here. Take it out. That's not glued at the top. Not glued at the top. Not glued at the top. Just the U-shaped glue. Okay, let me get some fun stuff we can put inside. Okay, here's my little box of sequins. Okay. Um, and I rarely use sequins, but they are very pretty, and I do like to use them. I have these really cool leaf sequins, which I think will show up really cool in here because they're really cool. <laughs> okay, so maybe some gold, some red, some copper colored ones. That looks like enough, right? Okay, let's toss those in there and just see what the heck happens. See what it looks like. All right, going in, drop three. Okay, that was good. Get the, retrieve those, get them back in there. All right, let's see if it's enough. Okay, okay, let me bring you down so you can see what I got. Okay, so I can see the words through and I can see these through. Now they will move as, as things move in there, but I want a little more fun in there. You know, let's, let's go deep. We've got some uh, gold sequins here. Let's toss some of those in. What the heck? I think that would be a nice fall theme. And it's good to use up your sequins because I don't know about you, but boy, they can, like, we get them in thrift store stuff and then I never know what to do with them, but these little shaker things, whoop, too close, sorry. Um, it's a great way to use up your sequins because then all of a sudden you've got sequins and don't get stuck down there. Now, here's the thing is you want to make sure that these don't get stuck in the glue that you have at the bottom. Okay. So you might have to do some wiggling freeing. This is where it, it's helpful to, to wait until things dry. That's like the hardest thing in the world for me. I think I have a, a, a maple leaf stuck. Excuse me. I'm on a retrieval mission. I got it. Okay. I'm hoping, hoping that that works. And now I'm going to glue it together and hope to gosh, we got this. I'm going to open that and I got two things to glue. Here, gluing. This is not so important as the next one. This one's really important because you don't want them to shake and be glittered. You know what I mean? Nobody would be happy with you. No, 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 no. Okay. Okay, there we go. Come in. Let's see. Okay. Okay. We like a glitter bomb, you know? Okay, they're st they are, they're floating free, they're moving, they're moving, I'm like, ah, they're back. Yeah, okay, make sure your, your, your sides are glued down well. And if you're unsure, you can always put washi tape around it to make sure that it doesn't come undone. Maybe. You could also sew it. Um, I have the skinny, the skinny music washi tape. I'm just going to put a little piece here. Yeah, I don't know why. I just I feel better about it. Um, probably should glue this down, and I might do that later if it doesn't stick well enough. Like if you find it's popping off, which washi tape sometimes does because it's a low-tack tape, and it doesn't have the strength of the, the mighty clan of the Norsemen. You know, it, doesn't, it just doesn't have that. Um, but it, uh, oh, I should have, I should have inked that. That would have looked really cool. I'm going to go in and post ink so you can see what that looks like. And um, so I'm sealing the bottom. Is it, oh yeah, no, I better do everything. Just do it, Pam. Just, just do it and you'll, you can sleep nights. Not thinking that this is all gonna uh, come falling out on somebody <laughs> somewhere. They'll be like, curse that Pam. No, don't, don't curse the Pam. No, no we don't, I don't want to be cursed. <laughs> okay, yeah, they are moving in there. We, we sense movement. Ah, even if a couple sequins get stuck in the glue, so be it. You know, we got bigger fish to fry. Hang on, we're, it's scissors. Okay, here we go. I'm just trimming. I got good viewage for you. Am I, uh, yeah, go closer. You can see the excitement of the trim. Oh, no, not, not glued down, glued down, glued down. Oh yeah, look at, look at, are you totally leaving me, you're like leaving me wanting, I'm just so coming in with the, the big gun. Yeah, you're going to be glued down. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. 
Do that side, probably have to do the other side too, but we'll just let that grab for a minute. See, all for naught, all for naught, thinking I could trust my washi tape, glue, and you know, how many times have I been let down by you? Like a million? I know, I should, I should know better. So, okay, so you know what it is? It doesn't like grabbing on this front paper as much. Back it up, you're too close. Um, it likes grabbing on the back paper better. See, it's not, it's not, nope, lied. It's coming off. <laughs> Just get in there and, and give it the extra glue. I'm telling you, you're going to sleep so much better at night. Yeah. I want your stuff to stay together so you can be footloose and fancy free. You could do the top too, but I, I, I think it's okay. All right, so what I would have done in, a, in if I was thinking clearly, I would have come along and inked all this because I think it will just set it off nicely. That's just regular water in there that I have. You can also add a splash of glycerin to keep your ink pad moister longer because um, glycerin's a natural humectant. And I would use the glycerin that's vegetable glycerin. You don't want, I guess, well, no, it's probably the sugary molecules of glycerin that attract the water. So there you go. But, you know, you don't want ants. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just inking around just for something fun. And I'm just going to clip this or stuck it, stick it into a pocket. One of the two. That's what I'm going to do. And what I would have liked to have done was ink the inside of my frame. But I didn't. So now I'm, I'm going to do it post posthumously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know how they say, let's wreck this journal? Well, this is posthumously decorating. Mm -hmm. Not dead yet. Okay, there we go. All right. There we go, right? And, and you could put little, you know, if you want to. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. But maybe if you, if you want a little more action on there, you could put some rubber stamping on the front. Just maybe some leafies indicating this is a a fall leaf-like thing going down here. There. Fun, right? Okay, you, now you have your adult rattle. I know. It's crazy what we do. Um, but it's fun, and that's all that matters. So we carry on from here. Let's get the book. Where's the book? Here's the book. Let me put my glue back upside down. Here we go. Okay, so that was number two. We're going to go find a spot number three. Here's a very nice spot. Oh, that would be very nice too, huh? Oh, here we have a pocket. Will you fit? Maybe I'll do you like this. Will you fit? Oh, you will fit. There we go. Now we have a little happy place for you. Okay, so that could be clipped on with a um, paper clip, or you could tuck it into a pocket or a little envelope. I think I demonstrated that earlier, so um, in a different video. Um, but let us go ahead and move on to number four idea. Okay, this is a very easy idea. And um, what I'm going to do, do I have any other uncut or already cut tracing paper hanging around? Nope, looks like I'm breaking into this, this sheet. Okay, so I'm just going to tear some strips. Yeah, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to tear some strips. Paper, uh, tracing paper, yeah. Tracing paper is very easy to tear because it's uh, so thin. Okay, and I think what I will do is maybe tear a couple more. It's okay if they're not exactly the same size. And there are a million and one things you could do with tracing paper, and this is just merely four ideas, so remember that going in. And I think what we're going to do is make a very pretty page trim. So here I have a whitish page. This is actually an end page or a flyleaf page. You know, the first or second few pages of any book, especially a lot of the old books have them. They were to protect the, the um, signature blocks or the text blocks on the inside, um, even before covers were invented, which is kind of cool. Uh, but what I'd like to do is do some page trim in a ruffle form without any sewing, but I would like it to be colored. So I think just for simplicity's sake, we're just going to well, let's maybe get some sort of underlayment here, which might be wise, Pam. This could be very wise, yes. Now let's see how this picks up color. Let's just try it with the old, here's worn lipstick. I think that would be very nice. Just doing some color here. Color it up. Oh, yep. Okay, not too hard on it. It's, it's delicate. Okay, did anybody not mention that? It's very delicate. Yeah, okay, need more water. It's probably too dry. Okay. Oop. 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Look at the difference. Now, now we're talking. Okay, see what I mean a little water can do? Okay, lightly, gently, gingerly, drag and go, drag and go. Uh, here we go. Oh, that's very pretty. I like that a lot. Okay, see, now we're in the land of color and fun, and we're bringing newness and excitement. Yeah, here we go. Look at us go. See, just a little water, a little dab will do you. Okay, here we go. And I'm not worried about getting every spot because I want to come in with another color. I know, I know, it's so crazy. I'm going to go for vintage photo. Yeah, that'll be pretty. Now, let's go for the green. Let's go for the green. That'll even be prettier. But make sure you get your green dauber. This is peeled paint. That's the color, if anybody's curious. Distress ink. I, you know, a lot of this stuff, I don't, it doesn't matter whether I grab the oxide or the regular ink. It all sort of works. Did I wet this? Can't remember. Give it a shot just in case. Get all so soaky Sally. And maybe just on some parts of it, not all of it. Whoop, don't turn it back over. Okay. Because I'm not quite sure what's going to show. Because I'm going to do some ruffling, finger ruffling. There will be no sewing machine. Um, and we'll hopefully make this easy. That's the plan. And there we go. Just a little bit of that. And you can put some brown in there if you want to, too. I, I'm not going to, you know, hold that against you if you don't. And I, I think, what time is it? Yeah, okay, I just a little bit, just just a little bit, not much. Just did I tell you a little bit? Yeah, just a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Okay, there. How about that move? Let's try that one. There you go. It's just gonna just like a little accent because it's fun. Okay, and primarily I just use brown, pink, black, green, and blue of some sort. Honestly, you get that many, you're good. And, and the black, did I say black? Um, and let's go ahead and make our little ruffles. I hope I have enough. Uh, if not, I can make more. Okay, so, so this is what we do. We get our glue and we put a bead of glue down. Okay, there we go. All right, now we're gonna start at the top. Let me just get one of those ripped edges. That look kind of cool. And then we're gonna, we're gonna do this. We're gonna do the smoosh, smoosh crunch. Yeah. And you can smoosh crunch as, as much as you want. You can make it as wrinkly. It's okay. It is. Um, and, and you can do it as little as you want. Yeah, you can. And here we go. Oh, I probably won't even use all this. Look at that. I just got to do a little tear edge there so it looks tearish. Join it here and, and, and carry on with all the fun that I'm having. You can really crunch it up and make lots of uh, ruching, um, layering, uh, wrinkles. It's all good. It's all good. Go straight. Mm -hmm. Keep going. Don't stop, Pam. What are you doing? Don't, you can't stop halfway because your glue is drying and it will grab what you're doing. So you got to keep moving. Yeah. Okay. And then just give it that push. And then maybe come in with the last hurrah. I don't think I'll need much. Uh, but a little bit of glue right here would be advantageous. It has to have something to grab onto. Okay, move a little closer. Closer. There we go. Right, just stick it on there. Where it's, see where I glued it on the, the top part here? That's my attachment point. And then I can... I can roosh, R-U-C-H-E, roosh, rook, rookie, rooshes. You know, it depends what corner of the country you're from. There you go. And, and I really like that look. I think that is so pretty. And you can take it up a notch. Let's notch it. You can, let's say you have a little ribbon. You could do that. Wouldn't that be pretty? You could totally do that. Let's do that. That's just fun. Um, okay, let's try it. And, and that actually anchors down all the little uh, ruching. And, but it's not necessary, but, but you can. And I want you to know that you can. You can also take um, some more string or something, and you could do the same thing. You can just come down there and, and put that there, which would be very pretty. But I'm going to use the ribbon because I haven't, I haven't used this ribbon yet. So here we go. We're using the ribbon. Down. Here we go. Putting the glue down. Whoop. There we go. It's all right. Everything's good. Yep. Everything's fine. It's all coming together. And this is a great way to use up extra scraps. Um, tracing paper. The whole project is very thin and it just adds a pretty dimension to any page that wouldn't have been there before. And that's just pretty, isn't it? Let me show you a little closer. Yeah, so it's, it's a very, very pretty. Um, so there you go. Now I've shown you four different uh, ways that you can use tracing paper and uh, there's about four million ways so we won't run out of ideas like I said. So Okay, um, where are we at? Yeah, sunshine. I think I'm good, Mom. I already had my say. Um, all right, one more time. That's it. I, because I, I love seeing everybody, 
And I really... Okay. You tell them how good you were when, when Mama washed your face. Okay. Hello, everybody. I was so good. You would have all been so proud of me. I just, like, I sat there like a little champ because there were treats involved. And I would have been a little champ anyway. I want you to know that. But because there were treats, and they were high-quality treats that Sunny really loves, I was very still. Yes. Yes, yes you were. You were very still. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> love y'all <laughs> okay thank you sunshine he was he was such a good little bumpkin and uh i was tickled pink with that so um uh, if you have um uh, don't forget we have the free gift with purchase you purchase a fundal which is 100 pieces of antique and vintage and interesting papers for your junk journals um full of lots of historical pieces i think you will have a, a lot of fun exploring and uh um, investigating the things that you get. If you're a historian or collector, this might be just for you. You get free with the purchase of a fundal. You will get automatically a free digi kit titled Fantastical Victorian Times automatically printed out on nice lightweight cardstock for you and included in your package. You don't need any special code or coupon. It just automatically appears. I just thought of that word today. I thought that was so cute. Um, uh, if you have not signed up for my free monthly emailed newsletter, make sure you do because you get a free digital image emailed to you every month with a checklist of supplies, a note from the bookmaker which explains what a junk journal is and how to use it, and a page list of ideas, all sorts of fun. And uh, I'm trying to find the things that we made so I can reassure you again. Okay, going into the next, can't, probably can't find them all. Forgive me. Um, I, my videos come out Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays, 7 a.m. Eastern time. When I get my dates right, I, I'm doing my best. <laughs> I'm doing my best. And uh, I have an Etsy shop where you can find journals or bundles or interesting things when I have them ready and for sale. And sometimes I do big videos and uh, social media awareness splashes that they're there. Other times I just slip them into my Etsy shop and let whoever comes by nab it. So um, come on and take a peek every once in a while. You never know what you're going to find. And uh, oh, yeah, remember this guy? Okay, the pockets. And um, then I have a merchandise shop. If you like the phrase create with reckless abandon or everything is a craft supply until proven otherwise, then you might like um, my merchandise shop. You can find it below in the description box. There's a bar. You just click on it and you can see all the items there. You'll see some t-shirts and sweatshirts and zip twitties and fun things. Maybe a special gift for you or for a friend or a crafter or a loved one. Um, you name it. Um, there's probably something there for somebody. And... Uh, um, thank you for everybody who has purchased things. I really do appreciate that. That really helps my channel. So thank you so much. Um, and also what else? Oh, you can find me on Pinterest, Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. Come and join our Facebook group. We're having a lot of fun over there doing weekly and monthly challenges and seeing what you guys make from these videos. And most of all, remember that fun can be simple and create with reckless abandon, everybody. And we'll see you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.